I want to ask as well, you talked about 101 years on Wall Street. What other books have you loved? And these can be, you know, weird, esoteric ones, old ones. Just, you know, if you had a, if you had to list a few of your top books that would live with 101 years on Wall Street, what would they be? I mean, I'm a sucker for the George Soros book, The Alchemy of Finance. Um, you know, Soros, I find to be like just a fascinating guy because I think, I mean, he started his career really as like a failed philosopher. Um, and I, I love, I love people maybe, you know, for myself, like start, start in one direction, end up going in a different direction. Um, so, so that's one. And then, you know, just a non-finance book that, um, I really love is it's a collection of stories by a guy named Joseph Mitchell called up in the old hotel. And, uh, he, he was a writer for the New Yorker in like the thirties and forties. And he did these really colorful vignettes of just people um, who lived in New York City in that time period. And it has no real, you know, investing advice, but I just think it's like, I'm always fascinated in like culture and how, you know, cultures evolve and how ultimately business is a reflection of changing cultures. And to me, I think there's like just some interesting insights in there about individuals and how they existed then and their desires and um, how some of those things have changed and not changed, but ultimately history just kind of repeats over time. Um, and, and so I, I found some cool like insights from that book.